desire of people to gamble, and they gamble in stocks, incidentally, too. Uh, day trading, I would say, very often was came very close to uh, gambling as defined. Day trading explained. There's been a lot of recent discussion about day trading. Some promoted to make money quickly, while others have unfortunately fallen victim to the risks associated with speculative investing. So if you're considering day trading, we strongly advise you to reconsider. In today's video, we'll show you all you need to know about day trading. And for more investing videos and strategies, subscribe now to Money Lab. Here we go. Day trading is a complicated and risky form of investing whether you're a novice or seasoned investor. Day trading entails buying and selling many securities in a single day or even in seconds. It has nothing to do with traditional investment, instead taking advantage of the inevitable ups and downs that occur during a trading season. Day trading is most common in stock markets and on foreign exchange forex markets, where currencies are traded. Day traders are typically well-educated in the nuances of trading and well-funded. Many of them increase the risk by using leverage to increase the size of their stakes. They are acutely aware of events that cause short-term market movements. One popular technique is news-based trading. Scheduled announcements such as economic statistics, corporate earnings, or interest rate announcements are influenced by market expectations and psychology. That is, markets react when expectations are not met or are exceeded, usually with sudden significant moves that benefit day traders greatly. Day traders employ a variety of intraday strategies. One such is scalping, a strategy focused on making many small profits on an ephemeral price changes that happen throughout the day. High frequency trading, HTF, employs sophisticated algorithms to capitalize on minor or short-term market inefficiencies. Range trading uh, is a strategy that determines the trader's buy and sell decisions by using predetermined price support and resistance levels. News-based trading is a strategy that capitalizes on the increased volatility around news events. But you can lose everything and more. Day trading is not for the faint of heart. It requires minute-by-minute -minute decision making and leveraged investment strategies that result in significant losses. The goal of this type of investing is to profit from the short-term market and stock prices change daily, but the risks are significantly higher in longer-term investing strategies. During that market day, a lot can happen resulting in the market and stock volatility that can be difficult for even the most experienced of day traders. When making investment decisions in this environment, you must leave your emotions at the door and that can be especially difficult, leading to costly financial mistakes. Day trading employs complex products and day traders frequently employ leveraged investment strategies. Leveraged investing entails borrowing money to buy stocks or other securities. In addition, leveraged investing includes sophisticated products like options trading and margin trading. If the price of a stock or the market moves in the right direction, this can increase a day trader's profit, but using a leveraged investment strategy is extremely risky and the risks not may be obvious initially. If the price of a stock or the market moves in the wrong direction, it can result in very quick and significant financial losses. Leverage investing can even result in losing more money, in some cases significantly more than was originally invested. Leverage investing in a fast-paced and complicated environment can be dangerous, and an inexperienced investor should avoid it. You should only consider these types of investments if you fully understand the magnitude of the risks involved and are willing to accept those risks. When making any type of investment decision, it's critical to understand your level of risk tolerance. Consider your investment objectives and experience, time horizon, current financial situation, and risk aversion when developing your investment plan and considering risk. Day trading is probably not for you if you're not a risk taker and want to sleep well at night. Everyone has a different risk tolerance and only you can decide what's best for your financial future. If you need assistance determining your risk tolerance, consult investor.gov or a financial professional. How day trading works. The name of the game in day trading is volatility. To make money, day traders rely heavily on stock market or market fluctuations. As a result, they like stocks that move a lot throughout the day for whatever reason, a good or bad earnings report, good or bad news, or general market sentiment. They also prefer high liquidity stocks, allowing them to enter and exit positions without significantly affecting the stock's price. Day traders must buy a stock if it is rising or sell it if it is falling, hoping to profit from the stock's fall. In addition, they trade the same stock several times a day, buying it once and then short selling it to the next to capitalize on the shifting sentiment. Day trading rules and risks. Day trading is not investing according to the Securities and Exchange Commission. Instead, investing entails conducting a fundamental analysis of stocks to determine long-term prospects. On the other hand, day traders use expensive cutting-edge technology and technical analysis to identify intraday trends from which they can profit. 
The Financial Industry Regulatory Authority has established written rules to govern this fast-paced practice and educate investors of the risk of major financial losses. Margin Call You must also meet the maintenance margin requirement and the $25,000 minimum. The current FINRA maintenance margin requirement is 25%, meaning that after any purchase, you must maintain 25% equity in your account. So if you had $50,000 in total securities in your account and $20,000 market loan balance, your equity would be $30,000 or 60%. In this case, you're following FINRA guidelines. If that percentage of equity falls below 25%, your brokerage may issue a margin call requiring you to fund your account with cash or security purchases to increase it to 25%. If you do, your brokerage may sell your securities with your knowledge to meet the maintenance margin requirement. Pattern Day Trader You are considered a pattern day trader if you execute 4 or more trades in a 5 business day period and those trades account for more than 6% in total trades in your margin account in that same period. As a PDT, you must keep $25,000 in equity in your day trading account and they must be there before you begin trading. If your balance falls below this amount, you will be unable to trade until the cash and securities in your account rise above $25,000. Advantages and Disadvantages of Day Trading the most significant advantage of day trading is that positions are not affected by the possibility of negative overnight news that could have a material impact on the price of securities. This includes important economic and earnings reports, broker upgrades, and downgrades that occur before or after the market opens. Trading intraday has several other significant advantages. One advantage is the ability to use tight stop loss orders, raising a stop price to minimize losses from a long position. Another benefit is increased access to margin and thus greater leverage. Day trading also gives traders more opportunities to learn. There are, however, storm clouds with every silver lining. While day trading can be extremely profitable, it carries significant risk. Day trading disadvantages include insufficient time for a position to see increases in profit or any profit at all, and increased commission costs due to trading more frequently, eating away at the profit margins a trader can expect. In addition, day traders who engage in short selling or use margin to leverage long positions may experience rapid loss escalation, resulting in margin calls. So this is all about day trading. If you're confused between investing and trading, watch our other video that explains it well. And for more strategies and tips, make sure to subscribe to Money Lab now.